now six of me will come out because I... Oh God, no! Oh no! Oh God, no! No, I'll take everything back. I will never feed you after midnight. I will never make you wet ever again. Hello and welcome to the Pork and Knuckles Show and hopefully never the Pork and Seven Knuckles Show where we talk. I will not give you this. Uh, I think this would end badly this for the rest of this video. This is what do. Yes. Please be my... I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Straight away... They get into the rules. There's no messing around. Three rules set. My favorite character in the whole movie was the Chinese guy, actually. He's just he was calm, amazing. collected. Like, yeah. He's a G. He's like the Gandalf of the movie. Yeah, 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 he is. With the long then, gray hair and with a pipe. But what... Gremlins are basically just going mental. Drinking, yes. gambling, smashing bars, somehow speaking in English. Fluent English. Oh, God. Gremlins, yeah. <laughs> they, my God, yeah, this very German kind of thing. What's going on? Yeah, here? like hairy monsters that just look very disgusting and you have no idea how you should actually feel them. This is a strange concept. But speaking of the three rules, I have to address these three rules. I know that they make fun of their own three rules in the second movie, but I still want to address a few key things. First, don't expose them to light. This was actually not a rule made for the gremlins, but for the production, as these gremlins they made cost like 40 grand each, so these puppets were expensive. And in order to cut down on production cost, they like to keep them in the shadows, so you don't see every single little detail, which is why they came up with this rule that they had to be in the dark. I like this. I also like, um... The fact that you that you should not feed them after midnight, midnight. they p pointed out, but it's always after midnight at well, some point. What if they get food stuck into their teeth? And exactly, they, they said that in the second, but I'm saying, you know, there is a German proverb that says kein Bier vor vier, which means no beer before four, and we're still unclear whether that is a, a reservation of time or age. But still, um, this time constraint doesn't make any proper sense, especially with don't get wet. This is so stupid. This is the stupidest one of all these rules. You have science, this atrocity by M. Night Shyamalan, where aliens who are hydrophobic and killed by water, spoiler, I just saved you a crappy movie, um, and they go to a planet that consists of 77% water that has, you know, humidity in the air. Why don't the gremlins react to the H2O molecules in the air Maybe that they breathe in. Maybe it's not wet enough. Ask the so, cinema. This is, these are, but still, I like, I love the fact, and this is what Joey Dante once said, um, he never wanted to do a sequel for Gremlins. Um, there but shouldn't then, have been a sequel, there shouldn't have been a sequel. Uh, he never wanted to make one, but the studio, because they made so much money with the first one and all the merchandise, gee, what a surprise, um, basically, made him do one, they demanded so often that he gave in under the premise that he can make the sequel exactly how he wanted it to be. And he then turned in a sequel, the studio um, had saw and say, well, we didn't want that, because he made fun yeah, of everything. But, you know, the second one, the gremlins get bigger. Much bigger. Are they bats? Like semi bats, semi Of course, They're there bats. is a bat gremlin. This There's movie has Christopher Lee. Gremlins. It's gotta be bats. And then, yeah, gremlins are still me these mentalists who just go around drinking and smashing stuff up. But yeah, are gremlins good? Are they good? Is there any good in. A Gizmo gremlin? is kind of good. But you know what? He's cute, but is there kind of a good side to a gremlin? No. Are they it's, like teenagers? No, it's, it's really dangerous. It they are teenagers. teenagers. Of course teenagers. they are. N but, uh, but I think with uh, with teenagers, it's more like uh, never talk to them before twelve a.m. and don't give them drugs or something. But you know what? My favorite line in both the Gremlins movies is "Go on." It's said by Christopher Lee, where he opens the package and um, sees, oh, rabies. I already have rabies. I was expecting to get the flu this week. Yes, this was this was Excellent. so fun. Christopher Lee My was amazing God. in the second movie. Um, 
we had basically Grandpa Monster from the Monsters as the Dracula kind of guy, or from the Adams Family, I'm such an idiot. Um, this is amazing what they put in for, for, for the kind of references, but I have to agree, I love the second one for the humor, but I think it went maybe... A there little was bit no too need far for a with one. the glasses wearing, um, no I mean, overly smart, in a microwave annoying, in a shredder, always what's talking. Going on? Always talking on this video, it's you that's talking. <laughs> My God, and on that note, right, we're done. Thank you for watching. That was not even six minutes. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching. That's it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care.